Hey guys, Infidel Dave here. Um, wanted to make you guys a video on how to chin mount a GoPro camera to a showy RF 1100. Um, here's the mount that I made right here. Let's open that up. Let's see me my reflection. Um, I can't take credit for the idea. I'll give the guy's uh, channel or his description in the uh, in the description of my video that's a curved mount right there um, but basically all you do the, the problem that you have is if you're trying to use just the curved mount or the flat mount on there it only bites at about 40 percent and that wasn't going to be good enough for me so I decided to uh, make a mount again it was through guidance or through the idea of a gentleman on on YouTube uh, I'll give him credit in the description there finally God, I got it out um, it was incredibly easy what you do is the chin bar up here just cover it all with packing tape that's just the clear variety um, the reason you use packing tape is it's slick and it won't allow the product that you're going to use to make this block to permanently adhere to the to the helmet and then what you do is you buy yourself a tube I'm sure there's a lot of products like this but it's called JB Weld W-E-L-D J-B Weld and they had a, a whole line of them um, water weld, metal weld I bought the plastic weld, ver plastic weld variety and it worked great <clears throat> Now this is my second tube because on the first tube I didn't follow instructions. The instructions on this clearly say to knead, not N-E-E-D, but K-N-E-A-D, to knead the putty prior to using it. So basically, as you can see, I used, oh, I don't know, 60% of it, maybe 70, and you knead it like, like dough. Um, there's two different colors. The inner color was different from the outer color and you want to make sure you mix it really good like I said that's my second tube because the first tube I didn't follow the instructions just made my little block and uh, woke up the next morning and it still wasn't hardened and it said on the instructions that I kind of read that it takes about 20 minutes so I knew something had failed so I started all over again kneaded up real good I'd say for a solid minute and it gives you it gives a consistency of like uh, silly putty and again, with this all covered with the packing tape, make just a little area, cover it all with masking tape. And I wish I would have made a video, guys, showing you the whole process, but you'll get the idea. The other gentleman actually shows you it, so check his video out, too. So I ran some masking tape down here, masking tape here, 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 and I, I centered it, and I knew that's where I wanted to make my block. You take the JB Weld that you've needed, and you just form a block and it's really easy to do don't worry that's not gonna be your finished product I woke up the next morning um, took a little effort but snapped it right off of there and this took the shape of the helmet so I then took it and I basically just sanded it to the shape that I wanted um, painted it white and there you have it uh, we've all seen the videos with the guys with the side mount I I think it's cool I just prefer this I didn't want my helmet or my face in the video and uh, you guys let me know what you think because uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna be making a lot of videos with it so with that being said my next step was mounting my GoPro to it so now this is another thing I had to do here's the J hook and with that, we'll snap it on here and I'll show you guys what it looks like. There's that. I like it. And notice how it's slightly angled up. I think I even want a more of an angle, which would entail me taking off the mount and sanding that at an angle like so. I hope that comes out. But having it more like this so the camera can point up more. What I also had to do was I had to modify the J hook slightly 
because the way it's built it wouldn't allow it it was sitting about right there maximum so what I did is I took my Dremel and as you can see I sanded this hump out which allows it to ride further back give me the angle that I needed I hope that makes sense I'm sure it does you guys are all friggin smart too smart actually um, in order to hook up an external mic to the Hero 3 and 3 Plus, you need a special adapter from GoPro. And I thought, yeah, bullshit. I can use an adapter. I've seen it on, seen them on eBay for a lot cheaper. GoPro wanted 20 for theirs, so being the smart guy that I am, I went on eBay and I ordered two of these. So it's a mini USB to 3.5 millimeter jack and got them. And uh, I paid like, I think seven, something like seven dollars for two. Why there was two, I have no idea. Got them, drilled my hole out in my case, which you'll also have to do. See right there, that hole kind of sucks because if I wanted to use this in water or underwater, that would be an issue. But rain and stuff with that plugged in, that'll be covered. I don't really think it's going to be a problem. But then again, I don't plan on going underwater, and if I do, I'll just get another case. So with that being said, I got the cord, drilled it out, plugged it all in. Also on eBay, I bought this microphone. It's kind of cool. It's a flexible um, 3.5 millimeter, which is what you need. Uh, again, two. I don't know what the, the thing is with two, but they were two of them uh, for like seven or eight bucks. I hooked it all up, long story short nothing friggin worked like I mentioned there's two of them so I tried the other cord I tried the other mic nothing then again then I thought maybe it was some kind of setting in the in the camera itself guys there is no setting um, you should be able to plug it in it'll disable the GoPro mic and the external mic should work don't make the same mistake so I called GoPro and told them what I did and of course they tried to sell me their product which they successfully did. <laughs> $20 for this. Um, got it today and plugged it in, and that was the problem. So I guess you get what you pay for. Uh, thanks, Nicole A. at GoPro. She was pretty adamant. She was like, you know, I don't think the problem is the mic. I think it's the cable in between. And smart girl, she was right. So here it is. Um, so with everything all hooked up, um, I'll show you what I did with the mic inside. I just got some double-sided uh, Velcro and put a little bit on the mic and there it sits. So there's the microphone. Sorry guys. There's the microphone. It sits right there and uh, I think it works great. I'll show you guys all hooked up here. <clears throat> Set this in here, plug the GoPro cord into the microphone, like so, and plug that into the camera, oops, of course it's because I'm on film, I'm struggling here, why does everybody still say film, alright, the helmet will be right back. Plug it in. Oh, it helps if it faces the right way. Plug that in there. Plug that in there. And voila. You are a filming, talking fool. Um, there it is. Microphone. The hookup. On the inside. What I'm going to do right here. I don't like that gap being the kind of uh, weirdo that I am. I'm going to take some white caulk and caulk all that so there's no gap there and uh, it'll be completely seamless. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope it helped. Um, peace.